out, David, and welcome to episode 24 of Game Pass Passport. Today we are stamping our passport for a mysterious island between the world of reality and fantasy. And this game is called Mist, and way back in the day, I want to say late 80s, early 90s, um, Mist was a PC game, and it, it had beautiful artwork, but it was all still images. As you'd move forward, it would just switch to the next slide, basically. It was almost like playing through a PowerPoint that allowed you to pick your own adventure kind of a thing. But there were, um, it was a puzzle-based game. You had to solve puzzles to advance the story. And it was a big deal at the time. Um, now it's a long time since then. They've, there's been a release now for consoles, and it's modernized the game. So I, as a former fan of Myst way back in the day, like 30 years ago or so, um, I want to check this out and see what it looks like. So, new game. Puzzle randomizer. Oh, that's new. Select your puzzle solution preference. If you're new to Myst, we recommend selecting classic. So now, oh, 93. That's when it came out, 1993. There it is. Thank you very much, game. So it looks like they can actually randomize the puzzles now instead of having to set answers. So I want to do the classic, but then I may play it again one day with randomized. But it's all about discovering the mystery of what this place is. left thumbstick to forward to move okay that looks all right okay and the dot fills up a yeah I remember this whole thing was like a book it was the the central conceit was you're going through a book and discovering what somebody discovered, something like that. I forgot all about that. And me, a literature teacher. Irony. It's nice to know the load times weren't any better. Okay, this looks better than it did back in the day, and it was a still image then. Now you can actually look a little. Holy cow, okay. As a fan, this is just ridiculous. Whoa. That's closed off. Wait. I don't know if I'm really wanting to go in there quite yet. Let's, let's explore this way. Use the menu button on your controller to open the menu. Done. Where are you? No idea what that did. Let's go this way. A huge gear. Looks like busted pieces or 
Is there something that goes on on the inside? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to flip all the switches. I say, why not? Let's go this way. Just so look for switches. Hey, switch. God's name are you? Okay, it wants inputs. I don't know what to put for the input, so I'll just leave. This is so neat as somebody who played the original to now be able to literally walk around freely like in any first person game. Hello? Wait a minute. That's the boat, or a boat. Could that be my boat? Is there something I have to do here? Whoa. Ah, line up. I think I'm going to need to, um, anchor. You know what? There's probably some sort of code. I probably have to figure out what the code is, right? What are you? If I remember right, there was, this was all about the mood, the tone. I need to change the um, speed on this bad boy. Whoa. Oh, hello. You know what? Let's let's go to the controls. I'm lowering my look sensitivity. I feel like it moves a little too fast for something that requires fine control. Let's try now. Oops, messed that up. Well, that was a hot mess. Wait, I wonder if I'm supposed to keep this balanced. Okay, so what happens if I hit this one? Okay, that went to 10. What about this one? 17. 25. 41. Sixty-five. Nope. See if I can get one to get me closer. Eighty-seven. Ninety-six. Oh. Okay, I can't seem to get that to do anything. It started before, though. 
Is there a reset button somewhere? Wait. Power. Power to ship. Generator switch. I'm generating power. But none of it's going to the ship. I'm going to leave the power going. I'm going to head up here. I think they did a great job of like reproducing these original graphics, but in a more modern sense. Oh. It changes the clock. Yeah, let's not. I'm not entirely know what the heck I'm doing. What the heck? A safe? Always nice. cranked up the PSI, I just don't know what that does. So I basically am clueless as to what I'm doing, but that was kind of the point of the game before. Whoa. Crazy. But cool. Alright. There's stuff over here to see. Did I not flip the switch up? Or am I flipping them down? I gotta be honest at this point, I don't even know. And I can go off the beaten path too. Hey, I can go up on the roof. Cool. Okay, what else is there? Hello? I did not know I could do this. Okay, now that I've done that, I wonder if it's doing anything down here. Apparently not. Uh, yeah, wait, wait. This is where the wire goes, okay? So let's go back in here then. Okay, nothing's useful here. I, I don't know what to do there. The, now, the one thing about games like this is, honestly, a lot of people would just hop on and look up the solution. Right, and I get it. I mean, whenever you play it for a while, and if you're stumped because it's puzzle games, and honestly, with puzzle games, like um, like those old, uh, uh, what do you call them? Those old adventure games, it, uh, could get frustrating because the puzzles, the adventure game logic, the puzzles were always really stupid. Okay, so I'm clicking on the ladder to go up, I click on it to go down it. So, I mean, it is definitely not 100% modern controls, but somewhat. Now, what in God's name is this thing? It's like a rocket ship. But old school sci fi rocket ship. Can I get in? No. Not yet. But is that where the... Yeah, that's where the power's going. Right there. And into the ship. So figuring out that power thing is obviously going to be important. There was the switch. And there's another one there. Okay. Figured that out. What's in here? Whoa, alright, the map? I've pretty much been to all these places already. This game was from long ago. Whoa.
You want them over here. Okay. Um. You must Bring me a red page. I can't. I can't see. Need a red page. You must be. What's the red page? What was this? Whoa! Uh, that just opened. See what happens. Okay, nothing's happening. Let's go in here. Let's try this book. So this one does. Okay, so one of them wants red pages, one of them wants blue pages. I just get more and more injured. I don't know why it does that, but oh, whoa. We've called this age Channel Wood, and it is a very different world, though it is exactly how I imagined it. It is still amazing to see it with my own eyes. Water covers this age as far as I can see, except for a small rocky island. Elsewhere there are only trees, which grow directly out of the water. A myriad of thin wooden passageways are built just above the water and disappear into the forest. I assume they were built some time ago, for they appear aged. I am eager to discover more about this land and its people. But I have arrived here late, and I must rest. I was awakened this morning by strange noises coming from a pathway adjacent to the one on, wh on which I have slept. I saw a group of monkey-like people heading in my direction. They had not seen me yet. I did not feel threatened by their presence. Their response to me was one that I would have never expected. After staring at me... For a short time, they fell to their knees and began what appeared to be some sort of ceremonial worship. I tried to speak to them, but they did not understand my language. Instead, they indicated through enthusiastic hand motions that I was to follow them. As we walked, I began to notice that the waters below us were changing color. Slowly, subtly, they would change from deep blue to muddy orange, then from muddy orange to beautifully clear. I was so intrigued by the water, I hardly noticed that we had arrived at a ladder. Climbing the ladder led us to the village, which is about ten meters above the water, and can only be reached by a rope ladder that separate that stretches from the lower paths to the to the village level approximately halfway up the grand tree. It is very interesting watching these people carry out their daily tasks, even after watching them for hours. I did not understand exactly what they were doing. Jeez, how long is this? 
You know what? Another time. What's this one? Whoa, this actually has some instructions of stuff. Alright, note to self. Come back and do this later. Anchor constellation. Oh, I can't say. These constellations will matter. Oh, I think this is where you get the code for that other thing. Okay. Lots of reading, apparently. This is rocket ship related, but these are all faded. I do remember this now. It's something to do with music. Okay, and there's one more, I think. Is this the gears? That looks useful. Huh. Just button patterns, it looks like. Block patterns. Jeez, how much... You know what? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Can I pick up this old moldy one, though? Okay, that was neat. Whoa. Um. That's the block puzzle thing, okay? Not messing with that now. I think I'm just going to go on about my business. There's one area I haven't gone in yet. I kind of just dodged it. Let's just head down here. That was right in here. Oh, I can't go through the rocky ground. Okay. I literally just ignored that little doorway there once I realized I didn't want to like, get myself in trouble or anything, but... Let's take a quick look down there and just finish our little tour of the island. And All right, this for me, I mean, like, if we're talking about it, am I going to recommend this game? If you like puzzle games, then absolutely it is considered a classic puzzle game. If you are um, a gamer of a certain age, I absolutely recommend it. You probably played the original, and it is absolutely a must have that experience again and what are you setting dimensional image topographic extrusion test 40 marker switch diagram 47 water turbulent pool 67 so 40 47 and 67 Those are the switches that are around him. Not sure why, but... Okay, let's go here and do 40. Can I just do this? Yeah. Oops, that was dumb. I needed to hit this button to make it actually happen. So it automatically turns that off, and then I hit this again. A topographical map of the island right there. Or is it the island? There's a big mountain there. Either way, it's cool. I just don't know why I'm here. It has been so long. I mean, the early 90s was a long time ago. Well, I didn't know that door would close. This is a really good job with atmosphere and stuff, especially because it is not meant to be terrifying or anything. But for now, I'm going to have to figure out how to turn all this crap on, basically. I think I went in this, didn't I?
So yeah, we haven't figured this out yet at all, okay. And I'm just gonna try it again, see if it does something different with the switch different. But yeah, I would recommend it if you're into these types of games, adventure games, or if you just have the nostalgia bug, want to check this out again, and hello. Grave. These are all the symbols. Now this was from a time when video games did not bother to, you know, tell you what they were about and why you were there or any of that. You just you just didn't do that. You just played it and figured it out. I have been there. So let's move this down. Let's go in here. Turn off the pressure valve. Seems like that will have something to do with the tree up here. Alright. Love you can see the clouds moving. I wonder. Let's try something. Just curious. Fire. Whoa. The sun did not move. Okay. Oh, wait. I never hit the button. Still the sound did not move. Okay, so that doesn't do what I thought it might. But I gotta say, this was a... Yeah, there's the top ground, because there's the mountain part. This is just a huge improvement over the original. I like to try to modernize it. I mean, the gameplay you can't really modernize too well. Except the random puzzles, that's not a bad idea. Um, this brings back so many memories. Um... Like I said, if you're a nostalgia bug like me and you like these old games and you just want to check out what they do with them in a modern sense, um, I would recommend it. If you're into adventure games, I would recommend it. If you want to just play a piece of video game history and like look up what was the big deal about Myst and all that, I would recommend downloading it just for that. Um, and then, you know, uninstalling it if you're not into the, you know, puzzle games. Or the good thing about puzzle games like this. You can play it on Classic, hop online, look up a walkthrough, and easily solve it and get crap tons of achievements. So, you know, there is a positive there if you want to do that sort of thing. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Pass Passport, where we stamped our passport for Mist, And I hope to see you next time when we go on yet another journey through the ridiculous number of games on Game Pass. They just keep coming out. I can't keep up. One video a week... If I'm even just doing like one game per week, I, I'm, I'm leaving two or th I'm only doing one and leaving two or three back. So I'm trying to hit the ones that interest me and not just random games because I want to, you know, most of you are going to download things that may vaguely interest you. And then so I wanted to pick the ones that vaguely interest me and then tell you why I did or did not choose to continue that game or play that game. Um. I didn't want to choose <clears throat> ones that I know I'm not a fan of the genre that much because you're not going to do that, right? But I probably should try to do that. So, but either way, um, we'll see what happens next time because I will see you on our 25th episode. So this has been Outdated. Peace out.